Hey everybody, and welcome back to Splatshine! Oh my goodness, we are we're not done with this after all. <laughs> I am Chris, and with me today I have Sean Hicks. Hello. And Michael Fortmoon. Hey, what's going on guys? Hey guys, so um, for those of you watching who don't know, uh, Sean Hicks is our beautiful, beautiful artist, and <laughs> Michael is our, our newest addition to the team. You probably were there... Uh, or you've met him through Smash Fight Live that we did last week, and now we're back with Splash on. Um, he is our video editor. Hey. And so, yeah, team yeah. expansion. It's good. It's great. And we're back with Splatshine. And and Sean, was that some matte painting I just saw you doing back there? That's correct. Decided oh. to uh, try out some new techniques, show off to the folks at home. Because um, mm -hmm. this is something that I've never done before either. So it was a nice way of. Uh, Using Splatshine to try out new things uh, and experiment a little bit more with our paintings and time lapse. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I uh, I was the one who who was thinking we should make this the next episode for a while. I like I really love the uh, Wiggler from Mario Sunshine. And, you know, the whole point of of Splatshine is to bring you know the world of Mario Sunshine cross it over with that of Splatoon, and so. Um, you came up with beautiful concepts for this this wiggler that would be a boss in the Splatoon world, and and why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Because this is this isn't the wiggler I remember in Mario Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, for this, um, I was looking a lot at the uh, Splatoon bosses in the game, and what they done with those is they kind of mix like uh, these machines with animal type of hybrids. So I want to kind of mix with that, but you know, with wiggler. He's always making those steam noise effects, those sound effects, like he's a steam train. So I wanted to kind of play with that idea and make him into some type of uh, train, basically. A type of locomotive. And so what I'm doing here is kind of applying like a rusty metal to him. Because in the game, you know, a lot of the stuff's like a bunch of metal. Uh, some of it's being a little rusty because of all the, the sea stuff on it. So right here I'm just adding some algae onto the top of it. Uh, next to the little spout, I don't know what you would call that thing on top of the train, but... <laughs> uh, and just experiment with different train parts and try to make them fit with the regular design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was interesting. I love this uh, sort of coral reef um, headpiece you gave him. Which is interesting because in the, in the world, uh, or the part of uh, Isle Delfino that you fight this boss, it's the coral reef section that's actually part of that level with coral reef in it, so it's cool. <laughs> that you represented not only the character but the level a little bit too in that aspect. So it's a lot of fun. What made you think of this uh, flower pot in his head? Where'd that come from? Um, that came from you know regulars naturally they have these little flowers on top of their head, and I'm like, mm -hmm. well, he has this giant train part come out of him. I'm thinking of maybe fitting the flower into that somehow. So I thought, you know what, I'll make it into kind of a flower pot type of appeal with the with the little petals just spouting out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, totally agree. I love this armor, essentially, that you've given him because it makes him that much more of a formidable opponent. And, and actually, in Mario Sunshine, um, there, there, was, there was a lot of uh, sort of phases to bosses anyway, right? Like phase one, two, three. Uh, maybe not as implemented as it was in like Mario Galaxy, but, um, you know, the idea of armor goes back to uh, an unused boss uh, or unused character that wasn't in Mario Sunshine, that was in... Um, one of the early betas, I forget what the name of it was, it was like this giant creature with huge legs that like you would sort of beat him up some more and uh, his layers of armor would shut off and like get him down to his bare skin and just beat him from there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so here's another part of the level that you've incorporated which are the sand, sand castles, I suppose, which again, is awesome. <laughs> um, Michael is here. Hey. Why are you here, Michael? <laughs> I don't know. Why am I here? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's it's because it's because Spychain. Spychain such yeah. a freeform, <laughs> fun project, and, and you love being a part of it. Um, what 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 is Splatshine to you, man? What's it mean to you? Yeah. So basically, I've been streaming along with you. Um, we've been streaming the Splatshine content. I've been streaming uh, video editing for Splatshine. Um, so. 
hopefully we're going to be able to upload more of the stuff, or we're just doing the live streams on, on YouTube right now, right? Af mm -hmm. Right after this episode, correct? Yeah, so basically what's happening with Splatshine is from now on, it's it's not going to have this, this format anymore. Uh, this format was very similar to that of Smash Fight in which we would work on this this content, this, this painting, and then we present it to you in this format. And it was lovely, I mean, and you know, it was great. And that works for Smashified to a T, but in Splatshine, this is a series that's built upon fun. And, yeah. and really, <laughs> it's, a, it's a creative and collaborative effort, really, more than anything. You know, the idea to sort of do the map painting at the beginning and, and where it goes from there, you know, it's all about just sort of not knowing where you're gonna end up. And so, what better way to represent that series, I thought anyway, than to just go into streaming. And so for the last couple days, uh, Michael and I have been streaming an entirely different piece from this one, uh, a Chain Chomp Splatshine episode, which by the time this episode's up will be finished and posted to the Splatshine Twitter at Splatshine. And uh, so it's just the idea of us going forward, doing more of these awesome concepts of Mario meets Splatoon, and we're going to be doing it live on YouTube. Um, we haven't decided how often it'll be. I'm, I'm hoping for like every other week, maybe every week. We'll see. It's going to be a lot more Splatshine content. So if you like our paintings, if you, if you enjoy our painting process at all, we'll be doing that from now on. And you know what? It's going to be great. And we're going to be creating a lot more music. Uh, the music you're listening to right now is from Nathaniel Plantier, who isn't here, uh, but he is in spirit because his music is so dang good. <laughs> and we love we love having it on. Yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Sean, what, what's with this part, man? I noticed there was like some metal texturing you just sort of laid in there. Yeah. Um, so I've been learning how to work with textures a little bit more and how to push them. So what I did there was make kind of like a painterly um, rough texture to apply to this little metal plate here. Um, and it kind of sped up the process a lot, and, you know, it all kind of came together from there. Um, basically what I want to do was show how the boss battle would go into effect, because, you know, with, with the Wiggler, he's it's a big giant creature just moving around in the sand, and some of the sand will cover up the metal plates on the platform, um, or it'll remove some, and it'll leave these little uh, sponges open for you to, to ink on, and that's how you make them flip over. Yeah, it's great. It's, I love that it's such a new take on that classic boss battle. <laughs> I like this part too. You changed him. You gave him like roller skates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like train roller skates. It's like a weird hybrid combination that I did there. Yeah, I remember you discussing this with Omni actually, the sort of mechanical side of, of how that could work because, you know, this this creature is a caterpillar and he's got a ton of legs and so if, he, if those legs are armored and upgraded, I guess they become wheels, essentially. Yeah. Did you guys decide on whether or not his legs have been cut off and replaced <laughs> with metal uh, limbs or...? Yeah, the big discussion on that I was talking with Omni was deciding on what he should be because originally he was going to be like a hollow shell of a regular, basically, mixed with machinery. But then they were like thinking that it might be a little bit too dark. So, uh, basically near the end, we decide on, uh, just making the whole thing a machine, basically. And there's an Octoling controlling it from the inside. Instead of it being a live creature. It's pretty great. I love it. Um, yeah. So, so going forward, we plan on having more episodes of Splatshine, obviously. And, um, more creative ideas that'll sort of cross over between the Mario and Splatoon universes. I'm really looking forward to what might happen. I mean, even taking characters from Mario, Sunshine, like, uh, I don't know, just like Bowser Jr. or Shadow Mario or, you know, any of those characters, the Piantas, um, and bringing it into the Splatoon style in itself is awesome. But I love this, this effort where it's not just transferring those characters into the world, but it's also combining them and meshing them. Because like you said, this, the, the bosses from Splatoon are, are a mix of, of creature and machinery, and so bringing that over into classic Mario Sunshine, bringing that over to Wiggler here is just, it's, it's, it's very new and it's very different and, and exciting, honestly, as an artist, mm -hmm. so it's great to see. 
And this perspective is cool too. I love that the horizon just goes on. You have some platforms that you invented back there. I don't know what that is for you if you've like been thinking about level design because it's a part of this, this process too. Oh, yeah. And we got the oh, here's zoom the final art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I like these, these zoom ins. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Great work. Thank you. So, excuse me. Thanks, everybody, for. Thanks, Michael, and thanks, John, for being here. Um, Splatshine is a series that will continue on forward. It's just going to be live from now on, which is very exciting for us. And I hope that you two can be in those live streams, whether Sean's painting or, or streaming or what. But yeah, we definitely have a lot of, of that to look forward to in the near future. Oh, and Sean's brush has uh, just come out uh, by the time the episodes come out, right? Yeah, so basically, if you want to paint like us, uh, go over to gumroad.com slash smashified, and you can download for $1, $1, the Photoshop brush, the Splatoon brush that we used for this painting, and all of our Splatshine paintings, if you like this style of Splatoon. So go ahead and go grab that. Um, give us a follow if, if you are a fan of streaming, you know, and I hope you look forward to more episodes of... Smashified and Splatshine and, and just, you know, everything that's coming out because as creatives and content creators we have a lot coming up. Thanks, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks. Sean, Sean, yeah, Sean. I really like, I really like your painting. Thanks, man. Yeah, it was great. I appreciate it. I like that a lot, that wiggler, that, that wiggler. I appreciate it. He really he wigglered his way into my heart, you know what I'm saying? Can I block anyway. you? Ha ha ha!